It had become a daily grind. The downward tug was relentless, and it wasn't such that he could resign his position and seek employment elsewhere. He was not an employee, but rather a possession. His boss was not just an employer, but rather his master. He simply could not move on. Using every possible option available, he did all that he could to avoid the repeated temptations. He even declared, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? But the challenge intensified until finally he had to do the one and only thing left to do. I'm talking about the Bible character, Joseph. We see in Genesis 39 that his master's wife tried daily to seduce him. Finally, when she seized his robe, Joseph left his coat, but he kept his character. Temptation is not always avoidable. Sometimes saying no actually seems to intensify the temptation. But if temptation is not avoidable, yielding to it is. In 1 Corinthians, we read, there is no temptation that is overtaking you that is not common to man. But God is faithful and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide a way of escape that you may be able to endure it. And immediately the scripture describes that way out. Therefore, my beloved, flee. When your temptation becomes great, you may have to lose your coat, but if you do, you will keep your character.